let's take a look at nets of three-dimensional figures. Which figure will this net make? All right, so first of all, when we look at a net, a net is basically a flattened out drawing of what that shape would look like in two dimensions. So sometimes you see this um, when they ship something. Like, let's say you were to order a bunch of boxes. Like, if you were going to ship out products, you might order boxes to mail those products out in. And instead of having a huge package of folded up boxes, they would send you the boxes all flat so they could ship them together. And then you would have to fold them and put them together into the box. So that flattened out version is the net. So we want to visualize if we were to put together this piece of cardboard or paper or whatever it is, what three-dimensional shape would it turn into? Now, one way that's nice to look at it is you can always look and see the bases. Notice I have a base here, which would be a circle. So if I look at my options, there's only one that would have one circular base. Now, if I had two circular bases, I would have a cylinder. If I had two triangular bases, I would have my triangular prism. But here, there's only one. Now, you can kind of visualize how this is going to turn into our cone because if I were to bring these two flat sides together and tape them together, that would roll this up into a cone, and then you could just flip the circle onto the bottom to be the base. So you can kind of visualize how this net would turn into a cone if you folded it and taped this back piece together to create the cone, and then you could put this circle base on the bottom side. Okay, so again, we're trying to visualize which one of these things, which one of these nets, if we folded it up, would make this rectangular prism that kind of looks like maybe a shoe box or a gift box. Okay, well, if I were to fold this first option up, it would be sitting on a rectangle, and then these triangular bases would come together. So this would give me a pyramid, right? And then I would have two more in the back there that we don't really see. This one, if I rolled up three sides, this would give me, and I'll, I'll put a little dash for the side we don't see in the back, this would give me a triangular prism. But this middle shape, this would work, right? If I were to fold those four sides together, that's going to become the main part of the box. And then these little edges would flip down to be the front and the back, right? Those two bases. So I can visualize that I could fold this net up to get this rectangular prism. Okay, well this is kind of the same question in reverse. Remember we said these four sides together would make up the rectangular part here, and then the, if we flip down these two little sides, they would be the two bases. Which figure will this net make? Okay, well, I don't have circular bases, and I don't have any triangular sides, so it doesn't make sense that it would turn into a cylinder or a pyramid, but again, we can kind of visualize that this would turn into a rectangular prism, right? These four sides would be around the long sides, and then these would become the top and the bottom bases. Which figure will this net make? Okay, and I always think the bases are the hint. Notice it would have two bases that are triangles. Okay, well, so this would have to be our triangular pyramid, right? Those two bases would be here. And when you fold them up, the three rectangular sides would be the three faces. The one that we see, the one on the bottom, and the one in the back that we can't really see, right? You can kind of visualize where those are. Which figure will this net make? Well, we saw this one before. This one would give us our cone, right? If we tape these two sides together, it has one circular base on the bottom.